welcome to another router guides video my name is Humphrey Chung and this video is going to show you how to use Wireshark with your GNS3 to see packets going in between two routers so uh, what's kind of interesting about this is a lot of people have trouble with this even though Wireshark is included with GNS3 and it pretty much should be uh, ready to go out of the box but for some reason uh, people don't know how to get it working so what we've got here is topology zero updated topology zero two routers two loopbacks all the IP addresses are already in there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a routing protocol so let's see here enable comfy all that good stuff router OSPF one and uh, network all zeros all zeros area zero really boring stuff but that's all right so we're going to go over to router two enable comfy router OSPF one and network all zeros all zeros area zero all right so now in a couple seconds our adjacency should come up and we're waiting we're waiting okay well eventually that's going to come up so we're going to move this out of the way and while we're waiting we're going to go over to file edit preferences inside of here you probably noticed a third option called capture this is where it's going to dump the sniffer files so in temp you might want to change that to be your Cisco file or Cisco folder or you might want to make a sniffer folder just for captures and this is the command to launch Wireshark so that's pretty cool now you might want to check to see if this actually works by right clicking this copying and pasting it into a run prompt and just seeing if it loads up uh, if it doesn't you've got a problem you just need to find where Wireshark is and then this check boxes will probably be checked I think it is by default automatically start the command when capturing so when you start capturing on an interface Wireshark is going to automatically open up all right cancel out of there to run Wireshark on an interface we've got interfaces between router 1 and router 2 let me just show interfaces there there we go so fast ethernet 00 and fast ethernet 00 on router 2 all you have to do is right click this green area right there right click on there okay maybe not right there how about right there there we go so you right click on the the line in between and then click capture click capture then you select a router and an interface so we're gonna do it from router one side click OK Wireshark starts up and here is Wireshark let me move it into the window there and wow okay let me resize it it's a little bit too big all right I think we're back all right so there's the Wireshark window and there's nothing in it at this point most people panic and they don't know what to do so you might want to start a ping on router one so we'll exit out of there and we'll ping the loopback of router two just for kicks and we have a successful ping so now I'm gonna start a ping and make it a repeat of 100,000 or how about yeah okay that's good so we're getting a whole bunch of pings through there awesome go back to Wireshark still nothing alright so a lot of people here scratch their heads think about committing suicide but really don't you know to quote a favorite movie line don't just stand there looking stupid click a couple buttons you probably noticed up here there is a refresh reload capture file uh, click on that and you'll see a bunch of stuff okay so even though it's supposed to uh, capture in real time there is an option I think to do that but just click on this reload and you will get lots of interesting stuff uh, I'm going to stop the pings over here on R1 control shift 6 and let's simply examine some of these things so you see some things from source to destination these are very familiar IP addresses you could see these are all ICMP stuff eventually maybe I'll get to a OSPF probably down here somewhere hit page down and uh, well look at all those pings lots of pings Wow okay maybe I shouldn't have had done all those pings but eventually I would find uh, some OSPF stuff so that's how you work with router uh, with Wireshark and GNS3 all you have to do is start a routing protocol maybe start a ping 
then all you have to do from there is right click on this interface here and start capture. Here I'm going to click stop capture to stop everything. So you'd right click capture, Wireshark opens up and all you have to do is remember to click this reload button. Okay, so that was a video on using Wireshark with GNS3. Thanks for watching.